Welcome to my channel. My name is Ashley and I love makeup. I focus on indie and affordable brands. So if that's what you're into, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up and let's go ahead and get started on today's video. You guys, today's video, I'm really excited because it took me a minute to get this palette. It was bounced around to so many different sorting centers near my area. Um, yeah, so it finally made it and I ordered another one because I didn't think it was ever going to get here. So I actually have two of these. It is the Juvia's Place Afro Galactic Palette. This palette is beautiful. Look, just look. See how beautiful those shades are. Um, yeah, I'm really excited. Um, also, speaking of the... Uh, Postal Service. I ordered the new Artitude Cosmetics palette. It was 20-30 minutes away from my house. Should have been sent to my local post office. And do you know where they sent it? They sent it 10 hours away to Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Yes, that is right. Way to go, USPS. Y'all are just killing it right now. Um, but yeah, so I'm hoping it will eventually make its way to me. Um, haven't really gotten any updates in a couple days. As far as I know, it's still in Louisiana. So maybe perhaps one day I will be filming with that palette or maybe perhaps I will not be because it might not make it here. But either way, it happens. I'm, I, this is the first time I've had this issue. So I'm hoping it's just maybe because the holiday is coming up, they hired some new people and they're trying to get like the sorting lanes sent out. Like this one's going south, this is going north. You know, um, so I'm just, I'm hoping things in the next couple weeks <laughs> will kind of calm down and, you know, we'll get better. And I'm not the only person who's had this issue. I've talked to a couple people around the area where I live who this exact same thing has happened. Their stuff is either being shipped like several hours away to different states where it shouldn't be, or they're just being bounced around to three or four different local um, sorting centers. So let's go ahead and let's get started with this video. Um, we are, I'll try and do the two, you know, two different looks. Um, cause I know that's what y'all like. So let's go ahead. And I am absolutely like this pink shade light right here is just calling to me and I have to, I have to use it. So let's get started with that shade because it just looks so beautiful. And I am just, just excited to get started to sit down it's been another stressful week so this is my my therapy my get myself together you know get a little unstressy stressed and just play with makeup and be happy so yeah it's a beautiful beautiful shade so pretty I am just excited to finally get to use this palette because, yeah, I mean, by the time it finally got to me, um, and what's really funny is I called the post office twice. The first time they're like, well, we can't really message that certain um, facility where the palette is. Because apparently if it's at a sorting center, they have no way of contacting that sorting center, which just seems very bizarre to me. But whatever, that's what I've been told by multiple people. So I just kind of had to wait. But then it said that it was finally in my city, but it like sat there for a week. And so I finally, you know, I called back and then the same guy was like, well, let me message them and see what I can do. And so what was funny was the same particular day. Um, so I'd called and maybe about an hour later, I got a notification that the pallet was at my local post office and was gonna be delivered the next day, the first pallet. Then, not even like a minute later, I got a notification that the second one that I'd ordered had shipped. So I'm like, well, I will just give the second palette um, to my best friend's niece or sister. Because um, they love makeup. So it will go to a good home, I promise. The second palette will be loved. It actually arrived like two or three days after this one did, which is really funny. So what are you going to do? All right, so next I want to take the shade Discovery, which is this really pretty purple shade right there. No, sorry, that one. These shades are just so beautiful. Juvia's Place, man. 
they got some good stuff. I also really enjoy their blushes. Um, their lipsticks are awesome. Let's see, what else have I tried? Lipsticks, blushes. Oh, they're um, the more dewy foundation I really love. The matte one, for whatever reason, just didn't work out for me. But man, that one that's like the more dewy finish. Phenomenal. It does smell like... Um, the watermelon Jolly Rancher though, which is really weird. So if you're sensitive to smells, maybe don't pick it up, but if that doesn't bother you, like it's an awesome foundation. This is such a pretty shade. I just, I love, love what we're working with so far. Now the next hard thing you guys know is gonna be what shimmer are we going to go with? Because dang, there are some beautiful ones in this palette. I kind of want to swatch a couple. I would do all of them, but I don't know. Let's shoot. Let's just do the purplish ones and then we'll go from there. So this first one is the shade Orbit right there. And these are like so buttery smooth. All right, so this is the shade Orbit. Right there. And then the next one we're gonna do is Horizon, which is that one right there. So that is Horizon. And then we've got Wakanda, which is right there. Okay, this is so trippy. That is looking green on the screen, but when I look at it, it looks purple. That is insane. That's crazy. This is going to be a really, really cool shade. Oh, yes. Okay. Do y'all see that? That is... Okay. That is amazing. So that is Wakanda right there. And then let's do this one down here, which is Alien right there. All right, so that is Alien. It's a lighter shade. Okay, I also, I know, I was like, I'm not going to do them all. But let's just do like one more. This shade Spirals looks really, really pretty. And that's another one that when I'm looking at it, it looks green gold. But when I'm holding it up, it's looking pink. It's cool. Very, very cool. All right. So this one right here is Spirals right there. These are all very, very, very cool shades. Okay. What am I going to do with myself? I'm really, okay, I'm just going to put down some glitter glue just because. Alright, I am, I am really, really, like, I really want to use that shade Wakanda. It is just absolutely phenomenal. So that's the one we're going to use. So pretty. That is just insane. Just oh, so beautiful, you guys. I just, oh my gosh. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Totally getting like space mermaid vibes right now. That is so freaking pretty. Like how? How does this even exist? Just absolutely 
beautiful. I love that. Love, love that so much. Okay, now we gotta do something for that lower lash line. I'm kind of thinking, let's do the shade Iris right here. And now, I want to, <sighs> Lunar Corner Highlight, I'm thinking the shade Mother Earth, which is this one right here. So pretty. So that eye's done. Let's go into the other eye. And I'm thinking kind of more of like an orangey reddish look with this other eye. So let's start with this shade Galaxy because it is just like beautiful orange and just absolutely stunning. You guys, I just remembered the one video I filmed and I can't even remember which video it was, but I was gonna tell you about something scary that happened in my house. And I was talking about how, you know, like strange things happen in my house. Like I swear it's haunted. And then I um, tried to decide what combination of shadow to use and I completely forgot. So we'll just do that really quick right now. So I had like on the nightstand, there was like a, I call them water bottles, my husband calls them thermoses, and then just like a bottle, um, like a heavier cup bottle thing that I use to fill up the dog's bowl. So those two things, they're relatively heavy. Um, and they were on the nightstand, not like on the edge of the nightstand, but like on the nightstand. And I was going to leave the room, so the one dog that was in there like left, and I am like walking out, so like I'd already passed the table, um, and the two bottles, we'll just call them to make things easier for me, um, literally went flying off of the table. Like, not just, they just, like, gently fell. They, like, went flying off and it was so loud. And I was actually on the phone with my husband when this happened. And I screamed so loud. And I'm like, did you hear that? And he's like, well, I heard you scream, but, and so I told him what happened. Um, and he's like, yeah, I probably didn't hear it because you screamed so loud, but, it was like, it was absolutely crazy. And then last night, okay. So this is, I'm gonna go into the shade Moonlight, which is this really pretty red shade. So, and then flash forward to last night, like we have a tower fan, okay. And it's like a big tower fan. And the, like it has this like night setting where the lights like on the fan, like that show you the settings and stuff, they don't turn on. I've noticed they will turn on if you like, if a if there's like a light on in the room. It's like a, it just knows that there's light on, so it's not nighttime, so it's okay for it to come on. Um, So that's, it will come on then. Well, last night I woke up in the middle of the night and I realized, and mind you, I can only sleep if it's pitch black. So like there's no lights in my room. And the light has to be like pretty much like shining directly at the front of the thing of the fan for the for the lights to come for the settings or whatever to light up. So there's like nothing that was shining on or anything. Um, oh, and the point of the story is the other thing is if you touch it, like the top of it, like one of the settings or whatever, then it'll come on. Well, it was like sitting up on like a a stand thing, so like it was just me and one of the dogs. So like the dog obviously couldn't have touched it and I'm asleep in bed. So, and there was like no light shining on it. Well, I woke up because I saw light and it was from the fan and the fan was on. So I'm like, how did that just magically happen? Um, Cause there was like nothing shining light in the room or anything. Um, and 
as far as I know, no one touched it. No human touched it. So that was kind of weird too. And I'm like, that kind of freaked me out a little bit. Um, cause I'm like, what, like what just happened? You know, like that just doesn't, doesn't make any sense. All right, I want to go on a little bit more of that first orange shade galaxy just to kind of like bring it up a little higher. But yeah, it's just, I don't know, our house, it's like random. Sometimes like a lot of things happen. Other times it kind of calms down and it's not as wild and crazy, but oh, man, I've definitely, whatever's here has like been letting me know that it's here. I'm like, I know it's here, but you know, sometimes things calm down and it gets crazy again. I'm trying to figure out what I did with that glitter glue that I just had in my hand and now I can't find it. Like, how do I do these things? I, I, there's not even like that. Oh, I stuck it in my brush. I have like a skull bowl for my brushes. <sighs> I just dropped my lid. <coughs> um, but anyway, yeah, it's just the activity has been heating up in my house. It's crazy. And I try to like pay attention to when things happen and I think it does get more active like towards the end of the year and I don't really know what that means or why that happens. Okay, I was trying to make sure I knew where the lid was to this because I don't want to lose it. Okay, so now, now I need to find the right brush and then we're going to use one of these pretty shimmer shades. I'm kind of, hmm, don't mind me. I'm just trying to figure out what I'm going to do. Okay, I think I'm going to go in with the shade Spirals, which is that shade right there. Just because there's just something about it that is just calling my name and I need to use it. Very, very pretty. Very pretty. You guys, this is a great palette. Like if, I know Julia's place was having a sale a couple days ago, so I'm not sure if they still are or not, but this palette is worth every penny. All right, that is just really, really fun. Now, the lower lash line. I think I'm gonna go with the shade Mars, which is right here. Just that pretty dark purple shade. And now for that lower inner corner highlight. I think I'm gonna go with the shade Spirit, which is this one right here. Oh, that's a good one. That is a good one. Okay. I'm gonna go do my mascara and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, so I am back and these are the finished looks. I absolutely just, I'm so happy. I just, 
I just love these looks. They're so colorful, fun, beautiful. I am just so happy with how they came out. And just really quick, on my lips, it's the Ladybug Glow multi-chrome lip gloss in the shade number three. I just felt like this would be like a great pairing with whatever look I would end up doing with this palette. So these are amazing. If she still has any more in stock, pick them up. I do have an affiliate code. It's my first name, Ashley, A-S-H-L-E-Y, if y'all um, wanna pick something up and save some money. And today's video, again, was the Juvia's Place Afro Galactic Palette. This palette is so good. Here is, and just, I just love, I mean, their artwork, it is just absolutely stunning. And here is that palette. I would definitely pick this one up if you're into the shades and you're a Juvia's Place fan. This is a great palette to have. And that is it for today's video. Um, I do, I did pick up both of the um, Krampus palettes from Ladybug Glow. They're right here, so I'm going to be filming with those. Um, hopefully film with one of them tomorrow and then later on in the week because next week it's Thanksgiving. So, yeah, I, um, hoping I'll get a couple extra days to film just to kind of get caught up, you know, because the holidays are coming up and things sometimes happen. So I just, I try to keep like one or two videos like ahead because I have to pre-film everything. So if something happens, there's a video going up. So y'all, thank you so much for your love and support. It means the world to me. I hope that you remember that you're loved. You're amazing. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Um, comment down below like if there's any holiday collections or favorite palettes coming up um, that y'all are interested in. I'd love to hear about it and just have a wonderful day, night, morning, evening, whatever it is, wherever you are, and I'll see y'all in the next one.